Assalamu alaikum. One of my friends want to ask you this question. Is there any line or word which mentioned in Quran about Hinduism like Jews and Christian? The brother asked the question that is there any verse in the Quran which speaks about Hinduism like it speaks about Judaism and Christianity? I don't know of any verse. There is no verse in the Quran which specifically mentions about Hinduism like it does about Christianity and about Judaism. But Quran says in Surah Rad, chapter number 13, verse number 38, Quran says, Kulli ajlin kitab. In every age have we sent a revelation. By name, only four revelations are mentioned in the Quran. Torah, Zabur, Injil and the Quran. Torah is the wahi, the revelation given to Moses, peace be upon him. Zabur is the wahi, the revelation given to David, peace be upon him. Injil is the wahi, the revelation given to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And Quran is the wahi, the revelation given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But there were many other revelations beside these four books. For example, Surah Ibrahim. If you ask me, can you consider Veda the word of God? I say, I don't know. Because there's no verse in the Quran which says Veda was a revelation from God. There's no hadith of the Prophet which says Veda is the word of God. So what I say, maybe it is, maybe it is not. I don't know. I'm not saying for sure it is. But even if it was the word of God, even if it was the word of God, all the revelation that came before the Quran, they were meant for a particular group of people and the message was to be followed till the next revelation came. So even if Veda was the word of God, it was meant only for those people and for that time. But Quran, since it's the last and final revelation from Almighty God, it was not meant only for the Muslims or the Arabs, it was meant for the whole of humanity. And since it was the last revelation, and no other revelation will come, it is to be followed till the last day of judgment. So based on this, even if you agree Veda was the word of God, hypothetically, it was meant for those people and for that time. Today, all the human beings in the world, whether they're living in India, or UAE, or Pakistan, or Saudi Arabia, or USA, or Canada, or UK, they should follow the last and final revelation of God, the glorious Quran, and last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.